guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing my review on the world's toughest test well it's special forces world's toughest test on fox tv so at this point i believe four episodes on season two have been released just so you know they come out every monday on fox at i want to say it's eight or nine o'clock but I actually also watch them on Hulu. If I happen to miss them, they'll be available every night, every Monday night on Hulu. So the first thing I want to say is that this show is very interesting. What I love about this show is how they blend real life troubles and battles with what our special forces unit does here to save the world um i think the overarching theme throughout all the episodes for me so far because so far i've seen episode one episode two and episode three of season two there's also a season one but i'm focusing on season two right now and i think the mind over matter concept is the most impressive you will notice when you watch the show that they're doing a lot of different tactics to really strengthen each individual's perception of their self and to fight a lot of the doubts and a lot of the fears and a lot of the traumas that are always at play subconsciously. Now, one of my favorite celebrities on the show is Jojo Siwa. Jojo Siwa is actually um, one of the original Dance Moms. Um, shout out to Abilene Dance Company and all of the girls on Dance Moms because I absolutely love that show. When I was younger, y'all know I was glued to the TV. If you know, you know. Uh, but yeah now on the topic of dance mom something that i really love that jojo mentioned is the stressful environment as a performer as an entertainer or just as a person in the world sometimes we are put in very stressful environments and i feel like that really does affect how we approach these challenges and a lot of the celebrities on the show they really want to be challenged they want to test their limits and they want to grow mentally physically and emotionally and honestly that is a lot of the same things that not only all of our special forces and military service um, individuals do but a lot of the leaders and even just me and you on a daily basis have to fight those mental physical and emotional traumas actively so i think it's really cool to be able to witness how they really strengthen these individuals and they connect their real life experiences to it another thing that i really loved about jojo's story is the fact that she had she was very vulnerable about the fact that she wants to grow up more and she wants to be more of an adult and i think we can all relate to that battle of like i'm an adult now or i'm over 18 now or I'm in a different place in my life and I want to trust myself more and I want to know that other people can trust me trusting myself and and just all that type of stuff and I was like yo I feel you Jojo I feel you because if you've been a dancer your whole life like me and you've had a few different dance teachers or if you've been in school which most of us have all your teachers are different they all come with a little bit of a different challenge that they pose to you and your classmates and so it's really amazing to see that connection, even if you're not a dancer or you're not an athlete or even you're not a celebrity, like all of these individuals on the world's toughest test, you're still an individual and we can all learn from that. So what I really liked um, is the survival of the fittest aspect. So if you take your biology class, basic science classes, you know that evolution is a thing and survival of the fittest is a thing, but we never really thought about that when it comes to our own mental state of mind and how we govern ourselves. And so that's another part about this show that I think makes it really special. So on Special Forces, the first task that JoJo Siwa completed was a big feat. Um, just so you guys know, I'm really interested in her journey, but the show itself is amazing. I just really resonate with her and the reason why she's on the show. And I hope I'm not messing up the pronouns because I know JoJo Siwa and I don't know her, but I know her brand. And I'm sorry if you're watching this. I'm sorry if I said it wrong, but I love you, JoJo Siwa. Anyways, um, uh, the way she um, completed that first challenge was graceful, to say none the least. And what I love the most about Jojo Siwa's entire approach to this show is her mentality. Like, she is very determined to finish. Now, um, there are some other people on the show. Like, if you're starting the show from episode one, keep an eye on number two. Keep an eye on number two. Jojo Siwa is number three. 
okay? But number two is hilarious. Also keep an eye on number 11. Spoiler alert, number 11 is Black China. I, I rock with Black China because she she really put some fight in and her story is really interesting as well. But more to the story is you guys, if y'all want me to do a more in-depth review on the world's toughest test, let me know. Your girl will be staying tuned throughout the entire season. I've already been watching season one anyways, that's completed. So I'm excited for season three. If you're a celebrity and you're looking to be on World's Toughest Test, just know you have my support. Fox TV, y'all did y'all thing, okay? Um, period. And another thing I want y'all to really think about while y'all are watching the show, because this is what I do. Um, these are real people. I love that they show that as well. Like, even though these people are celebrities, they're still real people with real problems and real traumas and a real life you know and they also have their reasons and it's just so beautiful to see that fox tv came up with this all the people that came up with this because people need to see that military um service members are real people you know the president of the united states are real people and civilians like us we're real people too and that's another thing that i love so much about the special forces world toughest test series on fox tv keep in mind it comes out a new episode comes out every monday and you're always able to watch all of the shows on Hulu at your leisure, as I do, because, you know, we be busy. But yeah, y'all, I really rock with this show. Um, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I ain't trying to spoil nothing for y'all because it's definitely an experience. It's worth watching. I kid you not, it's, it's, it's comical, too. It's comical, too, on, on number two. <laughs> I love y'all so much. I ain't trying to. I ain't trying to do too much. I just think... This show is phenomenal. I could do more reviews for y'all. Your girl like to watch TV and movies and all of that type of stuff. Um, a lot more coming to the channel. More vlogs on the way. More content on the way. Once again, let me know if y'all want um, another review on the next episode, few episodes. Let me know. I ain't gonna spoil nothing for y'all though. But y'all already know I'm Team JoJo Siwa. All day. Thank y'all so much. Y'all already know the motion. Keep being you. Keep being great. Keep grinding and keep shining because that's the only way. Love y'all. So, wait.